Right, and we're back. I to this one. Back back after the last wallet. We want... Shit. What? Oh, I'm confused now. Yes, it's this way, isn't it? Right, I've got to go back to the doctor. I think. I'd assume so. Shit. We got past the Cyberman again, unnecessarily. Just that way. There she is. There we go. Right, okay. That's all I needed to do. Right, okay. Self-destruct protocol. Huh, makes sense. When is a ship not a ship? When it's a bomb. Just to get rid of me. That's them off my Christmas card list. Right, we've got to get out of here fast. Well, fast-ish. I've got to get back in there and finish interrogating the Siberian. Find out what the Cybermen's endgame is, and you have to destroy the ship's force field so I can pull the TARDIS in, and then we can all escape. I seem to spend half my life escaping. I'm so jealous of people who just leave. Actually, it's a little bit boring. Right, what are you waiting for? Uh, we're waiting for the slightest clue about how we take out the force field. Emma, sending you the coordinates of the unit you need to deactivate. Once you've done that, it should be easy to grab the TARDIS. I parked it there on the way. Okay. Straight on. Okay. Right here. Oh, she actually tells you where you got to go, sweet. Right. Sonic it. 
Right, there we go. Oh no! The cyber What? Still can't access all systems, but at least I memorized the tech plans. I'll guide you to the bridge. Straight on. Oh shit. Oh! The Cyber Reaper's getting close. Left here. It's right behind us. We're gonna die. Go left. Turn right. Please, keep going. Jesus. I'm mad in the TARDIS. Whoa, mate. Welcome back, Sam. Oh, too early to call you that? <laughs> anyway, nice work disabling the force field. Meant I could use the Cybermen's transmat to get on board and materialize around you. I should have mentioned that part of the plan. Sorry, short on time. Did you get anywhere with the Siberian? I did. The Cybermen have upgraded the first reality virus. Why would they want the chaos that will bring? I thought the Cybermen were all about logic and order. Yeah, at any cost. They believe the chaos their virus unleashes will make planets super vulnerable to mass cyber invasion. Okay, so they're betting that societies right across the galaxies will be in no state to resist their armies. It's more than that. They think that with reality unraveling, people will actually want to be... upgraded. That entire species will welcome cyber conversion to help restore universal order. They're not short on confidence, are they? Which may prove costly for them. Their version of the reality virus is more powerful than the first. But that's because it's not organic. It needs a power source. So we just need to find it, and destroy it. Then, there are three transmitters hidden in three different locations. We need to find them all. We disable those transmitters, and this whole nightmare ends. Okay, we're about to emerge from the time vortex. Let's see what's left of the universe. Right then. Looks like Mars, 22nd century. Something's off, though. Here we go again. Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, Tasks, the First, and the Cyber Reaper. You didn't think I was going to sit this one out, did you? Seriously? Allons-y! Oh, looks like the Doctor knows where he's going. Keep up. Hey. Don't forget, we need to track down and destroy the force field units so the doctor can get the TARDIS here.
This first time Dotel has stopped us building a game. What? You're almost there. Keep going, Doctor. We'll catch up. What happened there? Because they get caught, but then. Wow. The time space continuum packs quite a punch. We've been catapulted into another weak spot in reality. The next transmitter must be near. Allons-y! Right behind you, Doctor. I was just about to take a screenshot of David Tennant's Doctor as well. Almost there. Don't give up now. Whoa. Where's the doctor? We're on our own now. Oh. Oh. Fuck off. Right, so jump on to that. Yeah. That's two. And then we've got one more, I think. Oh, you shit me up here. Chaos. The virus is unraveling causality. Not a sentence I thought I'd be saying today. We we'll literally do not park off. Some of these objects are unstable. What? Oh. 
I've got a claw on that side. Yeah, and then you've got to go up here up there. Yeah. Back again. Jesus. Yes, the doctor's here. Oof. Don't try anything, or it will kill you. The Cyber Reaper. At last, the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Yeah, let's see. Uh, picture. Devastating. Not as tall as you look on telly. Go on then. Let's have it. The bit where you lay it on thick with a bit of cyber gloating. You know it's weird. For a race that's got no emotion, it feels like you lot love rubbing it in when you think you've got the other hand. All that you will be deleted stuff. Why don't you ever just crack on with it? We understand the value of fear. To humans? To Cybermen. After all these years, after all these battles, after all these defeats, for you that is, not me, mm. you still don't get it. Emotion Standing up in there, there, look. Then why we live. After all these years, after all these battles, after all the losses of loved ones. For you, not us. You do not understand. Understand what? Your lack of emotion is your greatest strength, Doctor. That single fact. Is why I recognized the value of upgrading. To what? To you. No. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Is that what you think? You reconfigure your friends, strip away their safety, and harvest their strengths. You upgrade them to soldiers. You have one goal. Victory. And your reluctance to acknowledge the rights of your enemies is... Is what exactly? Logical. You will break the transmitter to destroy our virus. Yeah. Natural reality will snap back into place and order will be restored. Job done. You would eradicate the new realities created by the virus. Where are you going with this? You must choose victory or kindness. You must decide whether you have a warrior's heart mm. or a compassionate heart in one reality. You encounter a human known as Renette. Madame de Pompadour. Yes. You felt love for this human. Love is not a weakness. And you lost her. But in this new reality, he stayed with her. They developed a family unit. They are kids. You are the ultimate warrior. Pitiless. Relentless. Devastating. Stop it. Stop this. Bruh. 
Whoa. Taking two minutes to lash up a video recorder out of an astrolab and some psychic paper. Hmm. You're losing your touch, Doctor. Doctor. Huh. No one's called me the Doctor for years. And that's fine. I used to love it, though. Swaggering in somewhere. I'm the Doctor. This is Romana, Susan, Jamie, Sarah. Radrick. No. Not all good memories. Where is that? Sometimes, when I'm sitting with your mum, she asks me, where have you gone? And it'll be Scarra, or Gallifrey, Unit HQ. But I just shrug and say, you know where I was just thinking about? Because I know she feels guilty. Even though I've told her a million times that this little house, with you lot in it, means more to me than everything out there put together. Our home is so much bigger on the inside. Hmm? Anyway, I am leaving you this message in case anything happens to me. I want you to look after your mum. When you're old enough, she'll tell you stories of scary clockwork monsters who came to get her. A fire I didn't know this was part of the story. You thought it broke? And a man from another world who rode to her rescue on a big white horse. Now, maybe she'll share the stories that I told her. About the people made of steel, cities made of song. She still thinks I regret losing all that, but she's so wrong. The truth is, I thought when I settled down with her that I was giving up the universe, but I was wrong. I'm a good luck, time. She's giving me the world. Don't let her forget that. Hmm? She took her lonely angel and made him better. Maybe she should be called the doctor. Who wrote first face? Like I said, no one's called me the doctor for years, and that's fine. Because, well, I prefer dad. Mad. I want to listen to the end of that to be fair. I've seen enough. In this reality, the doctor and his family live tiny lives. They are made happy by acts of irrelevance. You are on record as claiming, but for some people, Small, beautiful events are what life is all about. You would destroy that, Doctor. For your victory. The Cyber Reaper. All these years I've thought you had one purpose. To destroy the enemies of the Cybermen. But that's not quite it. Your one mission is to find those enemies. And nullify their threat. And you've done it. I can't make this choice. So you've got to. You're the doctor now. Thanks. Bit of a cop out that, innit? Let's end this. It all depends on you now. One last transmitter. Run for it. <laughs> There we go, got it. He dies, nobody dies. Bye. Yeah, come in. I just wanted to thank you for, you know, saving the universe. After you zapped the final transmitter, the virus was destroyed and reality reasserted itself. For better or for worse. Hey, you're probably wondering where Emma is. Emma, can you hear us okay? Loud and clear, Doctor. Loving your old TARDIS. What is it with you and hexagonal decorations? How's the new body? Amazing. Give us a tick. I kept my word. Downloaded Emma into a synthetic body so she can move about. Feel. Taste. 
take part, do all the things we sometimes take for granted. Only problem was, after all the adventures she had gallivanting about with you, she wanted more of the same. So I took a few temporal liberties and sent her back in time. Yeah, she's gonna go traveling with someone I think you know. Actually, he can tell you himself. Left a message. I'll patch it through. Hello. Just wanted to say thanks. <laughs> I understand you had a very difficult decision to make, and you didn't shirk it. Good work, shirk. Come on, Doctor. Her ladyship won't tell me what the decision was about, but maybe I can guess. Hard sometimes, isn't it? Get a move on. Emma told me she's going to share some information, though, that I can pass on to you in the laundrette, I think. Anyway, better get going. Emma wants to find out what it's like to live, so I promised I'd show her around the universe. And you know what? I really want to go. We've landed. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. Oh, is this the end now? Yep. A million years from now. Or was it last week? The reality itself was almost destroyed. It was saved by a hero. A mysterious traveller in time and space. Yeah, it was saved by you. Thanks. Ah, oh, that's it then. I knew it was a Joe Orlando. Oh, hey, we've done it. Completed it. Completed it, mate. Was it as long as I thought it was? Don't even get the paint, dude. I actually quite enjoyed that. If it was a little bit longer, it would have been pretty decent. I think it would have been a lot better if it was a little bit longer. But, hey ho. I've got... I think I've got like two or three more Doctor Who games to play. Classic ones, so... We could do that, we could do that. I want to see if there's like a... post credit scene or something. I doubt it, but... Is that? No. Right, until next time, we're on to another game next time, so like and subscribe until next time. Goodbye.